Hey, people of planet Earth, I'm feeling sick as a dog right now, so let's make this video quick and painless, like a euthanasia needle. We all know that Fallout 4's environments are full of rubble and refuse. Even areas that are civilized and heavily populated still have piles of crap lying around. Can't these towns hire somebody to clean it all up? It's not as if there are many jobs around here. Get sweeping, assholes. In real life, I can stomach living in a pigsty, but an entire town of people being too lazy to clean up their garbage and fix up the shithole they're living in is hard to believe. The game even forces your own settlements to look like a dump because there are plenty of trash piles scattered around workshop areas that you're not allowed to scrap. Also, one might think that removing these useless objects could help improve the god-awful performance of this game. It's worth a try, right? There are dozens of mods out there that clean up the Commonwealth, but downloading just about any of them is a recipe for disaster, because Fallout 4 uses pre-combined meshes and pre-computated visibility data to speed up rendering. This data is generated for every single one of the thousands of cells that the game world is made up of. Any mod that edits or deletes an object in a cell breaks pre-combines and previs in that cell, and potentially any cells adjacent to it. Consequently, mods that delete objects all across the Commonwealth will wreak havoc on the game's performance and stability. You'd think that having less objects would equal more FPS, but the performance loss from disabling precombines and rendering extra geometry more than offsets any gains from deleting a few objects. This makes it very important to only download mods that don't break precombines, and that's what the handful of mods I'll showcase today will do. I'm not going to show off a bunch of game-destroying mods that I have nothing to say about except avoid. Well, maybe I would do that if I wasn't so disease-ridden right now. I'll be looking at three mods, each of them removing garbage without ruining the pre-combined system. These all have similar names, so don't get confused. Commonwealth Cleanup and Restoration, Textures for Cleaning the Commonwealth, and Commonwealth and DLC Cleanup. All of these mods are made by the same author, so you think he could have given them some more distinct names, but I guess not. The first mod, Commonwealth Cleanup and Restoration, cleans up areas the old-fashioned way by disabling objects, thereby breaking precombines and previs. However, this mod regenerates them for you, and it has a version compatible with Previsibean's Repair Project, which is the version I'm using and the one I'd recommend you use. Just load this mod after PRP and you'll be set. The downside of this mod is it comes in multiple files that you have to download separately. It would be much nicer if it was one big file with an installer that had options to pick which version you want and what areas you want cleaned up. Also, this mod is new and doesn't cover the entire commonwealth yet, just most of the settlements, the combat zone, and Good Neighbor. What it does cover, it covers comprehensively, however. Just look at the improvement in Good Neighbor. It looks like those street sweepers are actually doing their jobs now. When it comes to performance, I was pleasantly surprised. Standing at the Red Rocket truck stop in Vanilla, I was looking at about 1,615 draw calls. With this mod, I noticed about 1,530, which is a 5% decrease. So not only does the world look better, performance is slightly increased as well. Wonderful. This mod comes highly recommended for me, but I would caution that it could conflict with other mods that edit the same cells, which might cause precombines to break again, or it could cause CTDs. That's not an issue with this mod itself, just something you have to be worried about with this shitty engine. The second mod is called Textures for Cleaning Up the Commonwealth. All this mod does is change a few textures, meaning there's no compatibility issues with other mods to worry about. The textures do look a lot cleaner than vanilla, and some smaller 3D debris was made completely invisible. Don't expect any performance improvements, the objects are still there, it's simply that their textures were made transparent. I don't have too much to say about this mod. It's just nicer looking textures for a few buildings. There's no problems here. Use it if you want it. The final mod I'll be discussing doesn't break precombines and has no incompatibilities, just like the previous mod. It even comes with an installer. Despite all these positives, I would not recommend it. Commonwealth and DLC Cleanup makes the textures of nearly all rubble and debris piles completely transparent. However, these invisible objects still exist and they still have collision, meaning you will often find yourself standing on top of nothing at all. Worse still, trash piles were often placed by level designers to hide ugly seams in the world or cover up entrances to the void. Universally removing every instance of them causes major visual issues in countless locations, and it doesn't make sense. 
There should be rubble and trash scattered around abandoned locations. It's only occupied areas and settlement workshops where it becomes a problem. So forget about this mod, it sucks. But at least it won't cause any crashes or destroy your performance. <coughs> Anyways, I hope you found this very short video informative. Keep your precombines safe, people. Don't let them be broken by shitty mods. Until next week's video, it's curtains for me. <coughs> oh, I gotta go grab another box of tissues because uh, I'm up sick. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Toodles!